group I'm leading this fall is called Living Free by Beth Moore and I'm really excited about this group. I love Beth Moore's studies in general but this is one that she's taken and she's condensed it and made it um, so that anybody, any woman, it's a woman's Bible study, any woman can do it whether you have a lot of time or a little bit of time. She's taken a really great concept of having, learning how to live your life free in Christ, addressing strongholds in your life, learning how to pray God's word and just breaking it down so that it's doable. I'm excited to get together with another group of women and just talk about these things and learn how to do life better and to live free so that as we are free in Christ, our neighbors and our family see that freedom and they want it for themselves and then we can share it. I am super, super excited about the group this fall. So this fall we will be um, facilitating, leading um, a small group again um, that we've kind of called Financial Peace and we're really excited about that because um, we found that we were um, experiencing change in people's lives, that people were actually um, choosing to change their financial future. Um, we're excited about starting a new study together uh, to see what um, great, and, and great and unsearchable things that, that God has uh, to reveal to us through this study this fall. We'll be taking a look at the relevance of the church today through the book of Acts and talking about the mission of the church, the message of the church, the role of the Holy Spirit, and how we are to respond. So my Connecting Point group this fall, I wanted to do something that I've been thinking about for a long time, which is start to read some of the Christian classics. You know how people are always like, oh, you know, you've read that book, right? That really famous one by this famous author that's been around forever that every Christian has read, and you're thinking, yeah, I haven't. Um, I wanted to kind of read some of those together because I haven't read a lot of them either, and I thought it'd be great to do that in a group together with other people who are interested in learning about the classics and being challenged by them and going deeper in our faith through them. And so this first one, um, we're going to do Mere Christianity by C.S. Lewis and going to break it up into seven weeks of reading and the first week of an introduction. So I'm really excited to dig into this together and be challenged in our faith and really find that middle meeting ground between what we're doing in our individual discipleship and what we're doing as a big church family and uh, meeting with some of you who want to dig into this with me. I have done small groups for my whole Christian life. I've done them since the time I was in youth group until now. And to me, it's just always been a place to get together with other believers, to talk, to grow, to share your ideas. It's an important part of my spiritual growth. I can see the difference it made from the very beginning up until now. I can't do this Christian life on my own. It's not what Jesus wanted for me. I need a community of believers to come alongside me and to help me learn and grow and to follow Jesus better. We um, have gotten a lot of, of small groups in the past by being part of them um, because of um, the connection with the group and the accountability that we've um, received and been able to give as well in, in um, what we've discussed and, and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And then when we led um, last semester, we found that um, that connection and the accountability that we were each able to give each other really helped us to push through really difficult things. Uh, small groups help me with my personal growth. Uh, they give me uh, the opportunity to meet with others, to challenge one another, and to hold each other accountable. The more I study the Word of God over the years, the more I learn to love the Word of God. I love when the Holy Spirit illuminates scripture and uh, reveals truth to me. I wanted to be able to uh, share these exciting studies with others so that they could learn to love the Word of God too and, and they would be excited and amazed when uh, God reveals truths to them. I love small groups because they create a beautiful meeting point between our big services and celebrations on Sundays and other times and your own personal devotional life and what God is speaking to you and you know you wanting to move forward and, and become more of a disciple in those areas and so it's like small groups bring those two worlds together and help you uh it's like you're not alone you're not doing it by yourself uh but it's also a much smaller group and you can talk and uh get down to some deeper issues that you can't do in a big group but then you also probably can't mine out on your own either and so i love small groups for that reason they bring this these two worlds together in a really beautiful way